All this week here on CBS 2 News at 5, we'll be focusing on strategies on surviving divorce. Tonight, a family therapist with a tender, loving touch gives us the do's and don'ts of divorce when children are involved. There's a tremendous amount of pain that happens and is shed in my office when it comes to divorce. Child psychologist Dr. Fran Walfish is an expert in helping children of divorce and has general advice for breaking the tough news to kids. Do not tell your children until you have a move date set. Then you tell your child about three, four weeks before that date happens. Dr. Fran says keep the information simple with younger children. I think you know there's been too much arguing in this house. And mommy and daddy have decided that we'd all be happier, especially you, if mommy and daddy lived in two different houses. If you say that much, then you leave room for your child to ask you the questions and you can answer them. If a child opens up and actually tells you, I want you and daddy or I want you and mommy to go back together, first praise your child for saying it out loud. Always praise your child for telling you and expressing their feelings, honest emotion. Dr. Fran's other tips for divorcing parents, don't speak disrespectfully of your ex in front of your children. Your child is 50% you and 50% your ex. When you put down the other partner, you're putting down half of your child and they know it and feel it. Don't put the kids in the middle. Don't say, A, ask daddy to send the check if you didn't get your alimony check. That's a grown-up matter between mom and dad. Dr. Fran says keep it civil for the sake of the children. Remember, this is about reducing anxiety and keeping your kids happy, healthy, wholesome so that they can grow up with as little baggage as possible and not land in my office when they're 35 years old. Well, another tip from Dr. Walfish, keep schedules, play dates, rules and bedtimes in sync between both households and try your best to sit together at soccer games and ballet recitals for your kids' sake. And tomorrow at 5, advice for couples who are going through a divorce but have to continue living together for one reason or another. And if you've got a question, send it to us using the hashtag CBSLA Divorce Week, and we'll answer it for you live on the news Friday.